Hello, welcome to Storytime with Mr. Ryan. I'm Mr. Ryan, and today we're going to be reading Ricky, the Rock That Couldn't Roll by Jay Maletsky with illustrations by Aaron Wozniak. I love this story because this is a story about a group of friends who help another friend to do what they're doing, even though he's different. It's about a group of friends who sees someone who feels left out and makes them feel included. And I believe we have a lot to learn from this book. So let's hop on in, shall we? Ricky the Rock That Couldn't Roll. Mwah. Over the lake and out past the bay was a green grassy hill where the rocks came to play. They would race to the top to take in the view then roll their way down the way rocks love to do. <laughs> there were Kip, Pip, Chester, and Marvin the Boulder. Ignatius played too, though he was much older. And a group called the Pebbles never ever sat still, zigzagging their way up over the hill. Kai was a meteorite, and not from this planet. And Maya was lava, but was taken for granite. <laughs> Stu was the smart one, Parker, the clown, and a grumpy old Ebert rolled down with a frown. Gabby was sassy, and Lisi had flair. Emma was giggly, and Hud had black hair. But the one trait that seemed to be shared by them all was that every rock there was shaped like a ball. And because they were round, they could easily roll through the grass, past the lake, up and over the knoll. Except for poor Ricky, who quietly sat you see, Ricky couldn't roll because one side was flat. Oh, His friends didn't get it. Come roll, they would chant. So Ricky tried, but replied, I'm sorry, but I can't. But the rocks were determined. They were sure they could solve Ricky's flat-sided problem and help him revolve. So Marvin the Boulder, with his impressive physique, carried Rick all the way to the hill's grassy peak. Then he pushed him down, yelling, Keep rolling, kid! But Rick didn't roll. He just kind of slid. Well, the rocks weren't done, not by a mile, Surely this next try would get Rick to smile. This, they stuck rubber balls all over Rick, using big gobs of glue to get them to stick. They were proud of themselves. This will work, they announced. But Ricky still couldn't roll. Now he just kind of boom, 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 bounced. Well, they pushed and they pulled trying every which way to get Rick to roll. But by the end of the day, nothing had worked, just like Rick had expected. And he ended up feeling depressed and dejected. It's no use, Ricky sighed. There just isn't a way. So I'll sit off to the side and watch you all play. But his friends wouldn't quit. We're here for you, brother, and we'll get you to roll one way or another. So they pondered and thought, each straining his brain, till they looked up and saw <gasps> it was starting to rain. And that's when it hit that smart one named Stu. Eureka, he shouted. I know just what to do. He explained to them how they would get Rick to tumble, 
My plan is pure genius. Stu wasn't too humble. So they carried our hero down the road about a mile to the lake where they gathered the mud they could pile on the flat side of Rick, creating a mound that they shaped, smoothed, and sculpted until it was round. Then after the rain, with the sun in the sky, they left him to bake till the mud was all dry. They gather the vines and one colorful feather that they wrapped all round Rick to keep it together. When the last knot was tied and the work was all done, the only step left was for Rick to have fun. They stood back and watched, feeling nervous and tense as Rick breathed in deep <gasps> with increasing suspense. He moved slowly at first, testing out his new mold. And then, for the first time, Rick the rock rolled. <laughs> so Bria, the ladybug, who'd been there from the start, felt a surge of pure joy swell up in her heart. She thought, as she watched her friends play on the hill, that there's always a way, if there's also a will. And she said to herself, as Ricky rolled down the slope, when you're surrounded by love, you always have hope. Hope. That's right. Thank you all for joining me for this excellent rhyming story today. Ricky the Rock that couldn't roll. He learned to roll in the end with a little help from his friends. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed reading this excellent story with me today. Thank you, Jay Maletsky, for writing such a nice story. I hope you guys enjoyed reading along. And if you want, you can feel free to check out some of our other great story times on this channel. Well, that's all for now. Remember, for some fun activities, you can go ahead and check out veronalibrary.org children. I'm Mr. Ryan. Thanks for joining. Bye.